And here we're going to talk about Lewis structures and their corresponding resonance structures when there's more than one way in which we can draw the Lewis structure for a particular ion or molecule. In this case, we're going to talk about the carbonate ion. And in a previous video, we already discovered that this was the proper Lewis structure of a carbonate ion. I also mentioned that even though we drew the, the double bond on one of the oxygens, there's nothing to prevent the double bond to reoccur over here or over there. And in reality, what happens in a case like this is where part of the time the double bond will be over here, part of the time the double bond will be over there, and part of the time the double bond will be over there. Since there's three possibilities, it'll be one-third of the time this is where you'll find the double bond, then you'll find it here one-third of the time, and you'll find it here one-third of the time. So to properly draw the Lewis structure for that, we have to draw all the various uh, components of the resonance. Since there's three different possibilities, we have to draw those three different possibilities with a double arrow in between. So we would put a double arrow right here and draw another possibility where the double bond in this case will be on this oxygen atom instead of on this one. Like so. And then of course we draw the corresponding valence electrons. There only will be four on this oxygen. There'll be six on this oxygen. It doesn't look like an O, so let me make that into an O. And then there'll be six on this oxygen. And since this carbon, of course, makes four bonds, that accounts for eight valence electrons. The octet rule is followed here as well. And so again, this will be an ion with a two negative charge because there's two additional electrons on what we started with. And then, of course, there's a third possibility, so we have to draw the third possibility as well. So again, we'll draw something that looks like this. We have the carbon in the middle. In this case, we have the double bond on this oxygen rather than one of the other two, like so. Here we'll have six valence electrons around this oxygen. We have six valence electrons around this oxygen and only four valence electrons here. And then this would be the third structure that this could be in. So the carbonate ion can exist, can exist like this, like this, or like this. And in reality, what you'll find is that it actually spends one third of the time looking like this, one third of the time looking like this, and one third of the time looking like this. So that's what we mean by resonance structure, and the carbonate ion is a really good example for that.